Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. It is fifth root of 2 raised to the power 9 plus square root x plus fifth root of 2 raised to the power 9 minus square root x equal to 4. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing domain first. As you can see, a square root is involved. Straight away, we will write x should be greater than or equal to 0. x cannot be negative value. Now I will use substitution. The first radical, this one I will consider a. And second radical, I will consider b. So I can write our original equation as a plus b equal to 4. This is our first and most important equation. Now I will use substitution. What we gave here, it is first radical equal to a. So I can write here a power 5 equal to 2 raised to the power 9 plus square root x. Similarly, for b, I will write b power 5 equal to 2 raised to the power 9 minus square root x. Now simply add both the equations. So a power 5 plus b power 5, this value will become. 2 times 2 power 9. These two terms will get cancelled out. So this value is using exponent. You will write 2 raised to the power 10. Now using exponent property, I can write this one as 2 raised to the power 2 times 5. a raised to the power b times c. It is equal to a power b whole power c. So I can write this is 2 raised to the power 2 whole power 5 or 4 power 5. Now what is 4? 4 is a plus b. So a power 5 plus b power 5 is equal to a plus b whole power 5. So something very important we have calculated here. It is a plus b whole power 5. It is equal to a power 5 plus b power 5. I will use Pascal triangle. I will use binomial expansion. But before that, let us calculate the product of a power 5 and b power 5 also. So let me take product of both. I will write here a power 5 times b power 5. It will become a plus b a minus b. So let me write here 2 raised to the power 9 plus root x in one bracket. 2 raised to the power 9 minus root x in second bracket. a plus b a minus b a is square. So it will become 2 raised to the power 18 minus b square so x. So ultimately a b whole power 5 is 2 raised to the power 18 minus x. Let me call this is our second equation. And this I will use while I will use binomial expansion. So let's get started by considering a plus b whole power 5. Now Pascal triangle 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 and required row 1 5 10 10 5 1. So coefficients are 1 5 10 10 5 1. Let's begin. A power 5 plus let me write first and last term all together. First and last is done. These two. Now I will take 5 and 5 coefficient altogether, 10 and 10 coefficient altogether. So I can write 5 in bracket a power 4 b plus a b power 4. In second bracket I can write 10 in bracket a cube b square plus a square b cube. This is our equation. Now as per our result a power 5 plus b power 5 is equal to each other. So I will cancel these two and one side will be 0. Now 5 and 10 both numbers are divisible by 5. I can divide also. So I can write our equation as a power 4 b plus a b power 4 plus 2 times 5 and five, divide by 5 then it will be 2 only. I will write here a cube b square plus a square b cube, RHS is 0. 
Now take common. I will take AB common here. So it would be A cube plus B cube inside the bracket. And I will take twice A square B square common here. So inside the bracket it is A plus B and right hand side it is 0. Now what is A plus B? The value of A plus B as per given problem it is 4. Let me write here A plus B equal to 4. So we can put over there 4 and let me use A Q plus B Q formula here. So let us write A Q plus B Q, A plus B, A square plus B square minus A B plus 2 A square B square and A plus B. Now put A plus B equal to 4. So I will be writing here 4 A B. This value is 4. This value is 4. In bracket a square plus b square minus ab. In second term I will be writing 2a square b square and times 4 equal to 0. Divide this equation with 4. So I can write ab in bracket a square plus b square minus ab plus 2a square b square. Now I will use here one identity a square plus b square is a plus b whole square minus 2ab. So overall we can write a plus b whole square minus 3ab. So let me write ab a plus b whole square minus 3ab and plus 2a square b square equal to 0. Again we can put a plus b whole square a plus b value basically 4. So whole square will be 16. So let me write here ab 16 minus 3ab. And here I will be writing 2a square b square equal to 0. Now take ab common. Once I will take ab common then in bracket it would be 16 minus 3ab plus 2ab equal to 0. So I will be writing AB in bracket 16 minus AB equal to 0. F dot G equal to 0. So we can conclude two, two statements, two mathematical equations, either AB equal to 0 or second equation 16 minus AB will be equal to 0. Say AB equal to 0. Let me write that final equation 2 result. So that result was AB equal to AB whole power 5. This was equal to 2 raised to the power 18 minus X. I will use little later. Now AB equal to 0. So I can consider here AB whole power 5 equal to 0 after raising power 5 both sides. Now this value I can substitute. So 2 raised to the power 18 minus x equal to 0. So x will be equal to 2 raised to the power 18. This is our one answer. We will verify little later. Now let us consider second equation, this equation. From here we can write ab is equal to 16. And what is ab? ab power 5 is equal to 2 raised to the power 18 minus x. So I can write here also ab whole power 5. Let me write AB equal to 16 and AB whole power 5 equal to 2 power 18 minus X. What I will do here? The same job I will consider. AB I will put 16. Here also I can put 16 or consider AB whole power 5 also. It is 16 power 5. So let us put this value here. So I will be writing 16 power 5 equal to 2 power 18 minus x. Now 16 can be written as 2 power 4 whole power is to, uh, 5 equal to 2 power 18 minus x. Take x to one side and 2 power 18 minus 2 power 4 times 5. Again use property it will become 2 power 20. Now you can see 
2 raised to the power 18 is smaller, 2 raised to the power 20 would be bigger. So this value is negative. As per our domain, x cannot be negative. So we will reject this solution. Rejected solution from this point. So only accepted solution is x is equal to from a b equal to 0 x is equal to 2 raised to the power 18 is our only solution. Let's verify. Verification. x is equal to 2 raised to the power 18. So we will be writing here a square root x would be 2 raised to the power 18 whole power half. So that value will be 2 power 9. Let's put over there. Fifth root of 2 power 9 plus 2 power 9. First radical term plus fifth root of 2 power 9 minus 2 power 9. So second term, this term would be 0. Only calculation will be from here. So I will write fifth root of 2 times 2 raised to the power 9, which will be equal to fifth root of 2 power 10 using exponent. Now I will write 2 power 10 whole power is 1 over 5. So this will become 2 power 2. We will apply the property, take the product in the exponent which is equal to 4 and it is our RHS. So that is our final solution and this brings the end of this video. Final answer becomes x is equal to 2 raised to the power 18. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.